Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to do a my little rift on a Hello World script. So this is going to be creating a receipt like for a store and you just kind of get to make it up. So we're going to do a whole bunch of print line statements. And just remember that for print line, it means that it's actually going to add a new line at the end of whatever text you put in there. So I kind of have a list. We're going to make a receipt that has a few different lines, store title, cashier name, greeting, list of purchases, uh, so different kind of groceries you're going to get, a subtotal, a tax amount, total amount, and then what kind of payment type it's going to be. So we're going to name the store just XYZ store. Feel free to have fun with this and add whatever name you want to add to it. So uh, one cool tip is if you do SYS out and then control space, then it will actually autocomplete it for you. You don't have to retype it all out or you can just copy and paste. So the next line we're going to do is put in the cashier name. And so we're just going to write in uh, one fin dog, and that's the cashier's name. And this is all happening inside of the main uh, method because this is what's it, main method is always run whenever you run the your your program. Uh, and so we'll talk about the other the ways to make this more. Uh, universal and, and dynamic later, but for today we're just going to put it all into the main method. So I decided that we're just going to say thank you for shopping with us as, as, a, as our greeting. Um, typically it's on receipts, so thought I'd add that on there. Now is where it kind of gets tricky because we're going to be adding the different types of groceries. And we're just going to put a few in here for now. So right now I just wrote gum, and you're going to notice I, wrote, I put uh, forward slash forward slash or forward slash t forward slash t and what that is so the forward slash is an escape character and that is what actually i need to you'll see in a second that i fix this it actually is backslash t backslash t and the backslash is an escape character and it means whatever comes after that it will escape and so t is a reserved for tabbing so it, it creates some white space in it and as you can see here it showed forward slash t forward slash t so that's just going to show um that text it's the backslash that is actually going to uh be the escape character that we need so now when we rerun it you'll see that we have gum and in two tabs away we have one dollar feel free to make up whatever a price money as well so we should copy and paste a few others and we're going to add a few more uh ingredient or um groceries how about chips and we're gonna do three dollars and then we're going to do donuts and we're gonna say and eh, two dollars so now we have our store title cash your name, greeting, a few uh, purchases we're going to do, and so now we're going to create our subtotal. Now if we look at the price of all of our ingredients, we've got a $1, a $3, and a $2, and if my math is the same as everyone else's, that would come out to be $6. So we're just going to write that in here. Now, obviously, this is not optimized for the most for how a receipt would actually be created in store. This is the basic uh, structure and how we're going to build on top of it. So we're going to what we call hard code or write out everything right now, and then later we'll come back and change this and put variables in there to show how this would actually the, the, how the this would actually be populated uh, with say like your local grocery store's uh, cash register. So we've done a few of these things already. Now it's going to be the tax. And again, we're just going to make this up. This is in no way representative of any municipality or states or government's tax at all. We're just totally making it up. So I think we should just do 1% for now. Makes it easy. Uh, calculate that on top of my head. So we'll just write that in here. And then display what that would be. So for $6. 1% of that would be six cents. So we're gonna write this in here. Even though for a second I wrote one cent. 
it's actually six. <laughs> so now what we have left to do is the total. So we already have our subtotal of six dollars. We've now calculated what our tax at one percent is going to be, which is six cents. So we will now write out our line for total amount, which will come out to be, again, if my math is the same as everyone else's, six dollars and six cents. So that's a little copy and paste. So now we're going to show, do a payment type. I know that that's typically something that's on a receipt, whether it's cash or credit or debit or check, um, gift card, whatever it is. Again, we're just going to be pretty simple and basic. We're just going to say it's cash this time. So now when we run this, then we will be able to see that all of our stuff is going to print out in the order we have it in there. So now if I expand this a little bit, we can see we've got our XYZ store, cashier, one fin dog. Thank you for shopping with us. We've got gum at a dollar, chips at three dollars, donuts at two dollars, subtotal being six dollars, tax being six cents, total six dollars six cents, and payment type cash. Now the reason that you see tax and total push out a little bit is because of how tabbing works. So we're just going to remove one of those tabs from each of those uh, lines, and then it will now put it all in line for us as well. Same thing with payment type. Since that first column is, is pretty big, it bumped it out to the next column, basically. Pull it back, and it is now all in line. So please take this, have fun with it. Uh, it's up in GitHub. And uh, in the next video, we will show how to break this out into functions and uh, how this can be a little more variable and how it will actually do the calculation for us instead of us having to calculate it and hard-code it in there.